Hello, welcome to the Loving Path of Vlogmas, day number four. My name is Isaac, this is my co-host Debbie, and we are very excited to be bringing you this vlog. <laughs> no longer this my vlog vlog <laughs> Um, where... Who am I to you? Mom. Oh, where I'm his mom. We share things about today, what we've done, and... And how we like to spend our holidays, how yes. we celebrate December. It's a little journey from the 1st to the 25th, and I think it's very fun. It is fun. I'll be sharing with you my advent <laughs> and your advent, which we've gotten from the lovely bee ladies of Bumblebee Acres Farm. Can you tell I've planned this? I know. <laughs> I totally rehearsed it like five times in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, his YouTube dreams have all come true. Oh my god, that's so funny. Anyways. What Anyways, should we talk you're about hysterical. First? We've been doing Christmas like this since Isaac was a baby. And I we've had some comments about how they love, they, you, love seeing his um, excitement for the holidays. And I think a large part of that has to do with the way we've always celebrated, which is spread out over the whole entire month. We've never b done um, Santa, really. We've never really done a big, you know, present, present, present. That kind of focus on just the 25th. We've always made um, it all about stretching out the holidays and making magic count every single day leading up to the 25th and even beyond right we do a nice new year's we usually do mm -hmm. boxing days we usually boxing day we spend with my in-laws and yeah just kind of spread it out as long as we can because for so, me i've always found that it's so busy in the month of december even and even before so busy and then you get to the 25th, and it's just over like that. And you, I always feel left emotionally de beyond depleted. Just like I've been assaulted almost. And it's, uh -oh. yeah, well, I mean, like emotionally, right? Like yeah. it's just, and it doesn't feel nice. And so we spread it out, and so there's no, um, there's really not too much pressure. And I like spending Boxing Day and also New Year's with family. Yeah. Because we have, like... Well, my mom's side and my dad's side. So we open presents here, and then we open presents there and there. We have multiple present opening days. Oh, you like the present opening? Yes. <laughs> also the family. Also the family. <laughs> yeah, we don't do a lot of presents, though, right? We've never done a big present. One always... year we got 20 at most. For all of us? Like, not just you. Combined for yeah, 20. Yeah, all of us, 20. So, but we usually get, you usually get a book and something that you really want and a, a board game and and lots of those bits and bobs knit. for my stockings lots of little bits and bobs anyway so shall today we... is the fourth day of advent right so do you want to start with your i was just going to go advent. there oh i read your mind look how cute my envelope is come on here you go it's a cute little puppy Rocking we had to not put the number four over his nose we had to move nah. it to the side you did anyways let me show it up closer a little bit okay i got the camera i got it okay there you go cute. <laughs> I started to peek over. I feel a little disheveled now because he did all the introduction. I feel like I haven't said all that I need to say, but you've already covered it. Oh, is it stuck? No, don't do it. I okay. got it up this morning. It's okay. It's because it got stuck in the teeth. Here you go. You're good. This is one of our very special traditions. Yeah, we do this every single year. This is one of the ones that you always insist that we continue doing, right? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's fun. And it is, go shopping for a child in need. You had your face. Hmm? You had your face. Mind it? No, no, like this, because it's like, oh, yes. not focusing. No, no, anyway, maybe it won't Ow. focus. So, so go shopping for a child in need is something we do every year. And it's important, because I think there's a... Um, you can relax a little bit. You're all, like, stiffened. <laughs> it's nice to give to people who don't get much and hopefully it says from Santa I think the thing is it will say from Santa and for kids that's like I think it makes them happy yeah and so that Santa thought of them even though they're not well Santa knows everybody right yeah that's the whole thing so we donate every year to an organization here in London called Marymount and they're like a family support and crisis center so often they have children in their actual care who for whatever reason can't be living at home 
in the moment. They think they go home for Christmas, but they can't be at home for whatever reason. And um, they offer, like, they provide them clothes and presents and things like that. So that's where Isaac likes to donate. And so you've done this. Is this your fifth or your sixth fifth year? year? My fifth this is year. our fifth year doing that. Yeah. So he gets to pick out. The gift. The gift. Um, and we don't put any stipulations on it, right? We, so there's no no gender, no age, no um, just no stipulations of what it can be. It can be anything he'd like to pick out. It's usually a game. It's usually a game. And we, it's usually based on things that we have played ourselves and love very much. And then we drive up there. It's at the north end of the city. We drive up there and we walk in to drop it off and Isaac always asks them to make sure that it goes to an actual child and not just to the reserve of games that everyone can play because he wants to make sure that a child, a specific child gets a, a, gets to a present, right? And then what do they do um, usually in the new year? What do you receive in the mail? I receive a letter and usually it says thank you but sometimes it's worded differently. It um, for example, last year I um, donated the Wildcrats Race Around the World board game and then I got a letter saying that they gave it to a little boy oh, who yeah. loves Wildcrats and his family. Just as much as you probably do I or did. Wild yeah. Crats. I still like Wildcrats. Yeah, they're awesome. And uh, yeah, the parents were very excited and he opened it up on Christmas Day and was super happy that Aww. it was a Wildcrats. That, yeah. made, me, that made me pleased. Yeah, that's that's that exciting to know that he got something he wanted. Mm -hmm. So then what do we do this morning? We went to Chapters Bookstore, which is an amazing bookstore here in London. So what did you end up getting? We found this great game. Here, I'll hold it up. Here, you hold up. Okay. It is a Harry Potter, I think it's Fantastic Creatures. Oh, Harry Potter, Magical Beasts. So it's pretty neat. Which um, is a shame, because now I'm excited. Now I want to play. Now you want to play. It was on, and it was on sale. So, like that wouldn't have mattered to us. We would have got it no matter what. But games have gotten very expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure games weren't this much when I was a kid. I mean, that was a long time ago, but they've really astronomically gone up. So the back, you can see the board game, and it flips up so it's outside and inside. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that's cool. So we we have that, and then we're going to go up to Marymount. Maybe um, tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or in the next week or so anyway and, yeah uh, we don't like to leave it too late because we want to they get need to make sure everything's happen. organized and, and gifted for Christmas mm -hmm. so yeah we'll go up there in a couple days and yeah it'll be fun do you want to tell them what we did last night yes okay we saw the best Christmas pageant ever yeah at original kids theater company yeah. at original kids so that's where Isaac does his musical theater and they were putting on a show last night called the best Christmas pageant ever and it was, you said it was, eh? You thought it was really great? It was good. It was really good. So if you don't know the story, it's a play about, I like guess, a small church in a small town, and they do a Christmas pageant every year. And the woman who normally runs it is in the hospital for some reason, and she, I think, always runs it the exact same way every year. Like, very, same people play the same parts. There's no, so everyone knows what to expect from year to year to year. And that would be boring. And then she's in the hospital, so she's on the phone with the person that the church ladies have volunteered to run it this year. And she's like, oh no, because she's got to try and compete with this woman and everyone loves the pageant. Except the people who are in it. Yeah, and so the kids who are in her go, I'm not doing that this year. And the husbands are like, do we have to go? And, and the mom, the wives are like, what? You're not supporting me? Anyway, there's this new, um, this new group of kids that have moved into town and they're kind of bad seeds. They're bullies. Mm, yeah, they're just, I think they have a rough life and I think yes. that is um, played out through their actions. And anyway, turns out they, yeah, they've kind of maneuvered their way in and pushed out the kids who are usually in the play and made themselves like the main characters. And the other kids are too afraid to stand up to them so they don't. And But because this happens and it's new characters or new actors playing these parts, the play is quite transformed, and of course, as you might expect, the kids, the are, kids transformed. are transformed as well by playing Mary and Joseph and um, the angels and the three wise men. So they're all kind of transformed, and yeah, I was kind of in tears at the end. It was very, very lovely. Yeah, I know <laughs> I cried everything, but it was very sweet, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. So that was our night. We walked there. It's about a 30-minute walk from our house, so we walked instead of drive, instead of driving. 
and we walked home and it was mild and just quite like I think it was hovering around zero plus two maybe and I put on the Celsius wrong boots. you put on the wrong boots your feet were sore the whole time anyway shall we was, open your eyes in now this is going to be a short episode because we're just moving along oh so quickly can we drink first yes as I explain what's going on so we are opening a Harry Potter yarn advent made by the lovely bee ladies as I said of Bumblebee Acres Farm and they are amazing. We love them so He's much. He's quite smitten with the bees and their craftiness and cleverness. Their cleverness. Um, we're not going to show you. No, we can't. Really, we can't one, keep doing it. No, but, but we can show all three of them. So these are the first three. Two days ago, we got. In order. In order. They're they're in order. Right? All one, of them? two, three. Three. Right? That's what we got. Those are our first three days. This is Puff. This is Birdie Bots. We love this one. Birdie Bots is like a beautiful. And then yesterday's, which is a new one, is we thought it was just called Hufflepuff, but now if you look, it's actually Helga Hufflepuff. That was hiding inside. We didn't notice that. But oh, just look at these colors. They're beautiful, bees. And they go, <laughs> they go, they go along nicely with the theme of the bees and the farm and all that stuff. So here I'm just gonna check out. He's gonna run the show from now on. Uh, it is. <laughs> I'm no, gonna... you're not opening it. Stop trying to steal my event. Okay, so How you about can... you do the ties and I do the wrapping? So you can mark this down that probably next year I will be getting him a Harry Potter yarn advent calendar because he is so excited. Like, I think more so than me. I mean, I'm thrilled, but he's like, can I open it? Can I open it? Can I open it? Like, what are we going to do it? And I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So here we are. Here's number four. And if, if you are watching this, bees, which you probably are, I <laughs> love your wrapping. Your wrapping is beautiful. Okay, Sneaky Pete. <laughs> okay, but we're going to do this as always, where you close, how about you it. close your eyes this time? No. <laughs> okay. My eyes are remaining oh, open oh, at all times. I have an idea. Shush. Stop, just stop, stop, stop. I have an idea. We'll open it, not look at the label. Oh, and guess? And guess what it is. Okay, I love Isn't that. Isn't that a great idea? I do. I'll try not to... Sh I'll try. So, okay, I don't know how I'm going to... I don't know what la what side's going to have. The label on it. Usually it's up top, I think. I know, i got to see where it is. It's, it's okay, I see where it is. Is it up here? No. It's down there. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. Ready? another yellow one. I don't know what this is going to be. Okay, so yesterday I said, I love this color. Can you tell? Because my sweater was this color. This is just the best color under the sun. I don't know the if sun. I like this one. No, that, I'm sorry, bees. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bees. I meant... You it, wanted it to be a variegated one? I like variegated ones. I don't like just plain. Well, it's not plain. If you look, okay, there's like little so, bits. Okay, so let's think Harry Potter. Could it be a mythical creature, maybe? Uh, oh, I have an idea. Fox the Phoenix. A phoenix. Maybe. What do you think? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, you, you, you always do that. Do that. Pass it to me. I'll look at the label and then I'll tell <laughs> it's you. It's beautiful. This color is my favorite color in the world. The entire world. Okay, quickly, hurry up. I'm not going to look. I'm going to look. Am I right? Was I right, Anne? <gasps> oh, yes, bees! You've done it again! <laughs> butter beer! There you go. It's butter beer! The bees... box is more orange. Yeah, I know. But you've done it again, bees. <laughs> and we Every single time I think, oh, can they continue this of course streak? They can. Of, well, we know they're that, bees. They can do anything they want. Yes, we know that you're amazing in the way you produce the color, and your colors. Can you are, tell he's theatrical? And your, in the way. And, Just, you need to and, recite a little Shakespeare and there. And your colors are they're beautiful. <laughs> so we love the eh? name. Yes, we do. Thank you guys, Bumblebee Acres Farm, for these amazing little mini skeins and this fabulous advent calendar. So much fun. Next year, I'm pretty sure you'll get orders from me and Isaac, because he also will need one. Yes, I will. <laughs> or we'll get you an advent um, Harry Potter one, and I'll find they have different advent ones as well. Oh, they they, I think they have Game of Thrones. Ooh. I think. Okay, we are going to say say goodbye and sign off and get on with our day. It's like quarter after three, and we are going to just do some knitting, and I still have a bunch of yarn to dye, 
And that's about it, eh? Yeah. All right. So we'll say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us on our Vlogmas Day 4. And we will see you all back here tomorrow for... Day 5. Day 5. Until then, see you guys later. Bye. Goodbye.